over while we're getting ready to have a chat here this morning. Hey, Bazinga, how you doing? Jonathan Reese, what's going on, man? Good to see you. All right, so what do you guys think about what's going on with metals these past couple of days? Uh, obviously, we've been having an amazing run uh, here in the past, I don't know, week, <laughs> two weeks. I think uh, if you go back two weeks ago, people were saying, oh, there's no way it's going to break 20. It'll be a while. You know, it's still got a lot of, a lot of room to go before it starts making its run. And, uh, you know, fast forward to, you know, just a couple, a couple days ago, we hit, uh, I think, $26 in after hours trading. Uh, so that was in the futures. Uh, and it hit really good. Uh, hey, Fox Run Forge, good to see you. Uh, Archaeology Mike. Uh, Mikey, good to see you too. Uh, and Justin Moody, how's it going? Gold and silver just needs to lower a bit more for me. Yeah, a lot of people want to buy, right? They're, they're waiting for that little entry point because they know it's going to make another run up. And, uh, and I, I, I would say you're probably uh, very right, right? Um, you know, it's, it's really, it's really uh, interesting what's going on right now. And, and so this pullback, right? So let's, uh, let's look real quick. To this right here, so let's uh, let's take a look. So right here, the futures market. Let me let me refresh. So this is Yahoo News uh, on the finance page. You can see they have. Let's see what we got, and then we'll go over to JM Bullion because I think that's a little bit more of an accurate depiction. So we're showing 2428. Uh, it's kind of a good indicator of where we're at uh, with the silver market. So archaeology, Mikey says silver is bouncing up and down, so there's a low chance to hit 50 and plus uh, the second stimulus check and president election will affect the silver prices. I agree. I want to trade silver uh, for my very first gold piece. Yeah, so we'll, we'll talk about the gold to silver ratio here in a second, but uh, here you can see markets are up today and we've got silver at 24.28 and you can kind of see where it's been bouncing around a bit, right? So let's see, for high in the futures, we got 24.53, and for a low, drop down to 24.13-ish, somewhere around there. Um, so that's kind of interesting, right? Um, let's go to JM Boolean. We'll look at their silver chart. Hopefully I can get that all in the screen. But, um, but yeah, their silver chart for 24-hour trading showing it's high right around uh, the $26 mark. Let's see, that would have been on the 27th at about, I don't know, 8 or 9 p.m., just above 26 bucks. And then it just plummeted right after that. Um, that was, let's see, also on the 26th, but it would have been early morning, like maybe 3 a.m. or something. So a lot of people say that this was profit-taking. Right? So you have a lot of people who are buying into the paper silver market, which is typically how uh, you know these prices are kind of calculated. Uh, and profit taking being, okay, we're seeing that it's up right now, let's snag some profits. And they did, and then the price dropped back down. So that gives them an opportunity to buy back in, which is where you see uh, you know, it kind of has this uptick again, right? So that, that uptick going right here, putting us right around the 24 and some change mark. Uh, so let's see. Um, let's see, Bazinga says, I missed when it was 22 for an ounce. <laughs> yeah, we're right. We're not far from that, man. It's, it's not too far off. Uh, just finished the air and variety list for big flip coin rule hunting. Very cool, man. Um, all right, so let's go back to... Let's go back to this view. All right, so... Uh, that that gold to silver ratio, I know a lot of people are, are looking to play that when it gets a little bit closer to, I don't know, maybe the, the 50 to 1 mark. I think right now we're right around 80. So it's it's a good, I think 50 is a good marker, but what do you guys think? What, what would you trade at uh, if you were looking to trade your, your uh, gold for silver, or sorry, your silver for gold, uh, what's your threshold? Uh, I know for me it's probably closer to the 45, um, 45 to 1 mark. Maybe that's too low. I don't know. Maybe some people will think it'll never get to that. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Uh, but that's that's my threshold right there. So uh, I'm out east, and there's no way I can find a W in change. 
Bazinga, I'm out on the East Coast as well. Uh, found my second W quarter in pocket change 2019 little W quarter design. I did find one in a box, or not a box, I did uh, about $50 worth of quarters, or maybe it was $100 worth of quarters, and I found one, so that was kind of cool. Uh, 60 or 70 to 1 ratio. So Jonathan Reese, you're not too far off, man. Uh, I think if you wait another maybe three, four weeks, we're going to see uh, the prices kind of jump up again uh, as that momentum starts to build up. And I think it wouldn't be far-fetched to see 70 to 1, 60 to 1 might be a little bit longer. Um, and Bricktown Silver, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, thanks for listening in the background. I know sometimes it's easier if you're at work just to have an earbud in. So just having a little bit of commentary with the, uh, with the chat, seeing how everyone's doing. Um, you know, this is the 29th of July, as some of you know, uh, those of you in the chat. Uh, by the way, please don't forget to hit the, the like button. I see there are a handful of you in the chat, so that's awesome. Uh, but as a lot of you know, I have this giveaway going on right now where we're doing a couple ounces of silver, one for the comments, one for uh, shout outs, and one for the, uh, the gold. And that gold is going to be pretty cool. So, uh, Jonathan Reese, if you are looking to build up some some weight in gold, that's a great opportunity right there. Uh, you know, it's a less than a gram, but it's still a really cool piece either way. Uh, guys, I am actually stuck in Tennessee for a couple of weeks um, here visiting family. We're up in the mountains, far away from uh, you know, kind of the the blossoming uh, pandemic issue that's going on in South Florida. So. Uh, I'm kind of hiding out. There's only one LCS close by, and last time I went in there, the guy was like, "Yeah, I'm not really buying right now," uh, and you know his his supply was very limited anyways, and his pricing was higher than what I'm used to paying. I think that's what kind of happens when you're out in the sticks. You know, whatever supplier you do have is always going to be very uh, limited on his his product inventory, but also. Uh, you know, he might have a season where he's not looking to buy, and that's that's a problem, right? Like, if I wanted to offload, uh, you know, 1,500 ounces of silver, uh, it's kind of hard to do that if the guy's not buying. Then where do you go? You end up going to those, like, gold and silver buyers, and they're going to give you a fraction of what it's worth anyways. So that is uh, at a huge loss. So let's see. Uh, Brent Dewey says, uh, my LCS is out of 2020 Eagles and almost out of regular Eagles. Um Let's see, would you guys trade one tube of eagles for a quarter ounce gold eagle straight trade with LCS? Uh, you know, I don't know if I'd do that trade just yet. That's me personally. Uh, I'm kind of waiting for that ratio to change a bit. And uh, when it gets down to the 40 or 50 mark, I think I'm going to trade the majority of my stack in for, for gold because gold takes up so much less space. I don't know about you guys, but I have a vault, uh, and my vault is... It's not to the brim, but it's not far off. I don't think I could fit too many more monster boxes in there. Um, got to love what you have in the table. Um, I haven't gotten any of them yet. So Greg H, uh, what's your favorite, man, out of all of these? Uh, these are these are some of my favorites. So I brought them with me uh, to, to Tennessee because I don't like going too far from home without silver on hand. Uh, I would say one of my favorites is, is this bad boy right here. I don't know if you can see it too well, but that is the um, 2000 Year of the Dragon, the Lunar Dragon, and it's in such good condition. Um, okay, I think I think I might trade a few tubes uh, for the deal. I have to redo my shout out video just seen yesterday. Uh, video messed up, didn't upload. Hey, no worries. I visited Tennessee a few years ago. Awesome. Yeah, I'm in the mountains. I'm actually looking, considering a move to, um, I'm looking at maybe moving to North Carolina. Not sure about that yet, but I'm uh, looking for some jobs out there in the meantime. Um, BU, brilliant, uncirculated. Hello, all. What's going on? Silver Eagles, how you doing? Uh, eBay, Nosmatic eBay. So, eBay, I think, is a great option. Uh, I think my, my issue with eBay is the amount of effort that you have to put into it, and then you got to wait seven days for the auction to end. And yeah, you might get top dollar, or maybe you do buy it now, but then you're waiting for somebody to buy or not buy. Uh, then there's the whole risk of them saying, oh, I never got my item, and trying to uh, you know scam you out of that. Nothing against eBay, though. I think it's a good platform. Uh, I've recently gotten into 
Facebook, and I think Facebook is a good platform to, to buy, sell, and trade, and they definitely go off of references too. Uh, I got $70 that I'm going to use for constitutional silver. So Bazinga, um, funny thing you mentioned that number, $70. I just saw someone post, uh, his name's like Silver Hunter or something like that, on uh, on Instagram, and this guy does, he goes around and looks at uh, looks for silver in Coinstar return trays, and this guy got $4.05 in constitutional silver, uh, you know, regular dimes, Merc dimes, uh, half dollars, and even one proof quarter that he says rolled under the machine, uh, but he got all of that out of a uh, out of a Coinstar, and it totaled up to about 70 bucks. I think that's stinking wild. Um, kind of cool. Okay, so Archaeology Mikey says, I don't trust eBay because of a lot of fakes. And if I sell online, I will sell to Atmex because you can sell coins to Atmex. That's true, though they won't give you top dollar. I think one of the best things you can do is have a good trusted LCS that you know has enough, uh, I guess, let's say liquidity to back it up, right? So, so my guy in Boca Raton, that's the only thing that I would hate about leaving Florida is I got my guy in Boca Raton and he's just such a good uh, precious metals dealer. Um, this guy has enough financially to back up whatever you walk in the door with. And the guy's, the guy's a good guy. And, um, and I know that, you know, if I wanted to trade in for silver, if I needed to pick up, you know, 60 ounces of silver, the guy's got 60 ounces, of, or sorry, 60 ounces of gold. The guy's got 60 ounces of gold. He can back it up. Uh, what's the one with the scorpion on it? Great question. Where is it? Uh, oh, right here. So this one was released by Scottsdale Mint. Uh, this is, let's see, the case is a little scratched up, but it's a pretty cool coin. It's a Republic of Chad uh, 2017 Scorpion, Deathstalker Scorpion, I think is what it's called. Yeah, the Deathstalker Scorpion. Kind of hard to read it, but that's it right there. Um, yeah, and buy online. Yeah, I, I like to buy online. Um, the bullion that I buy, I get it off, off of uh, mostly AppMax or a couple of the other sites because they have such a wide selection. Bold Precious Metals is another one that I frequent. Um, but you know, I, when it comes to the, getting something cheap, uh, I, I don't think you can beat an LCS, at least not my LCS, he's awesome. Um, let's see, I love the Year of the Dog, yeah, so let's show that, show that one off. Here we got a couple of Year of the Dogs. I got a couple different sizes. Uh, let's see, we got the, oh, that's a tiger, that's not a dog, here we go. That's a dog, that's a dog, these are all the Year of the Dogs that I have on hand. I've only got four of them. Um, actually, I think they may have even done a quarter ounce, but I'm not 100% sure. So I got the half ounce, the one ounce, the two ounce, and the 10 ounce. Um, I think they also made a kilo, but I don't have the kilo. Uh, let's see. Careful, buddy. You know, I'm here with my, my little helper. This is uh, Little Silver Husky, actually the original Silver Husky. Uh, he's here playing some video games while I'm shooting this, uh, this video. But uh, go ahead, say hi. Put your hand in. <laughs> you can say hi. Hi. <laughs> so he's he's playing some Roblox right now while I'm uh, you know shooting this video. I'm on my my lunch break. We'll call it. Um, but yeah, Year of the Dogs is pretty cool. I'm Year of the Snake. I don't have the Year of the Snake. I do. I do wish I did. Uh, I think that whole series is awesome. Started selling on eBay. There's a huge learning curve. That is true. I'm in Carolina. What part? Justin Moody. Sorry, I'm just catching up on the chat right now. Uh, I'm looking at uh, moving to the uh, Raleigh-Durham area, potentially. If not, maybe closer to the coast. Uh, sunny, what is it? Not Sunny Isles. Uh, Ocean Isles, Sunset Beach, maybe. Um, a lot of eBay fees and shipping. Yes, that stinks. Uh, lock, looks like I'm going to Walmart. All right, so that's uh, probably referencing the Coinstar uh, mention I just made. Just did a big sale on eBay. Um, yeah, so I did I did a bunch of big sales on Facebook, uh, and what I mean by that is I had all of those proof quarters, <laughs> actually kind of a coulda, woulda, shoulda scenario where I wish I'd have held on to them for another week. Uh, I ended up selling them at 17 and a half times face, and that was probably the more expensive side. Some of them I, I offloaded for like 15, eight times face, and these are the, the proof quarters they were awesome awesome quarters and uh now looking in hindsight that was that was cheap 
Uh, but I mean, who knew? Who knew that silver was going to jump up that quickly? I couldn't have forecasted a you know twenty six dollars silver uh, in the next year even. Uh, I think that that would have been ambitious to call that. So, Apmex is a ripoff to sell to. Yeah, you know, I I would say that they are maybe better to buy from than to sell to. Uh, I got nothing against them. They're in the business of making money, and you know that the the interesting thing is that spread between what the dealers will sell to you and what they buy at is typically marginal. They typically don't make a whole lot of money. So that's why there's more incentive to them to move volume. Um, you know, I'm talking to my coin dealer, he was telling me that a lot of, you know, the, the one-off deals that he makes, uh, he's only making, you know, between 10 and, you know, maybe a couple hundred dollars. And that's not a lot, right? Obviously, if you're moving bullion, you think it's a lot, but it's really not a lot. Uh, bought a BU 1880S Morgan fully natural rainbow tone for 37 bucks. How the heck did you pull that off? That is awesome. Did you get that from a from an LCS? Uh, Nosematics with a thumbs up. Hey, you, you forgot to put the nose in the middle. Uh, I don't see that that nose. Uh, been buying 90% below spot in the antique malls, and they don't check the prices as often. That's a good point, Brent Dewey. I think I might go to the antique mall when I get back to Florida. Um, they do. They, they typically overcharge, but if they're not checking the spot price, they probably have no idea that it's gone up quite a bit. Hey, Silver Husky. Um, oh my gosh, you're almost at 600. Yep, I'm very close. Very close to 600, guys. I uh, bet you'll be at 1K in a month. You know, I, I hope. I can only hope so. I've seen a lot of the channels having some tremendous growth lately. I think that's that's awesome. Uh, Brent Dewey, thanks for the, uh, the comment. That's awesome. I do like the... Uh, did I say Republic of Chaz? I didn't mean to say. It should have said Chad. Maybe maybe I'm, I'm growing a lisp in my old age. But uh, no, it's Republic of Chad. Uh, actually, they, they spell it Republic du Chad with a, with a T, kind of like in Black Panther T'Challa, T apostrophe Chad to Chad. <laughs> so maybe it is Republic du to Chad. I don't know. Uh, I consider a vault is one you walk into. Uh, how do you move that? So uh, Bricktown Silver, my vault, I call it a vault because I like the word vault. Uh, it's 600 pounds. Uh, it's really hard to move. I usually put uh, like PVC pipe down and I roll it uh, to get it into the house was a pain in the butt. Uh, definitely had to get a uh, one of those hand trucks, not a hand truck, a, um, a pallet jack to get it in and out. Uh, but those are one of those that will not get stolen. Uh, they weigh way too much, uh, especially with the precious metals inside. It's, it's over a thousand pounds. Uh, you can't even budge it if you try to like push it on the floor. Um, yeah, so it's pretty pretty awesome. Um, let's see. Did I email you about the guy I wanted to do yet? I don't. I don't know if you did, Bradley. It's good to see Bradley's coins, by the way. I like the new sticker. Uh, really cool. I'm interested in the half ounce year of the dog. Yeah, you might be able to find them. This one I actually picked up. Um, where did I pick that up? I picked it up on OfferUp. Guys, if you're not on OfferUp or LetGo, uh, those are great, great apps for that. The guy who sold it to me for uh, probably more than it was worth. I think I think I bought it because I wanted to say I purchased something on OfferUp. It was probably the first piece of silver I ever bought off of there, and that was uh, 14 bucks or something like that. So right now it's actually, you know, not far from spot, 14 bucks um, for a half an ounce, especially Year of the Dog. Uh, I made one once, I made, they made one once colored Year of the Dog too. You know, I haven't, I have seen it. It's a German Shepherd. It looked pretty cool, colorized and everything, but I don't have that one. Uh, it might have been the quarter ounce. Um, gosh, I really have to get caught up on these. <laughs> Guys, there's not a lag. That's me that's lagging. Uh, I'm still getting used to the live stream and reading the, the text as they come in or reading the uh, live chat. Um, okay, got an OG on the stream. Who's the OG? I don't know who the OG is. Maybe I missed somebody. Um, there's an OG somewhere on the stream. Uh, Year of the Mouse Rat, also a Scorpion. Also a Scorpio. Yeah, you know, I'm Year of the Rooster and a Scorpio. That's why I have that Scorpion. Trade you something for the year of the dog. Uh, you know, I'm not trading that one. Uh, sorry, coin collecting with Tyler. That one's the one that I'm not. I'm not willing to let go of because uh, it's part of my my set. You know, you can see I got all these guys right here. They're all year of the dog. Got that big ten ouncer in the back. Um, so those are ones that I'm I'm not getting um, letting go just yet. Looking for a fox round. So 
Fox Run Forge. Uh, if you're looking to get a round made, I might make a suggestion, and this is kind of a, uh, a hint or a maybe a segue into something you might see in a video real soon. Uh, if you ever want a round made, might I suggest checking out uh, Gold Spartan or The Gold Spartan on Instagram. He makes custom rounds. Uh, and his prices aren't ridiculous. He's actually a pretty awesome dude to work with and he works really quick. So you can take whatever hint you want out of that, but just know that he is a good guy to work with and uh, I think you can get something pretty cool made. Um, okay, so uh, I bought a BU 1947S Benji full bell lines. Oh, that's cool too. Um, I only have a couple with uh, the full bell lines. And let's see what else we got. Um, AC007 cleaned. I don't know what that means, Snowsmatic. Help me out. Um, oh, you're asking if it was cleaned. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Uh, what do we got? Lambo stacker in the house? Oh, Lambo. Hey, how's it going, man? Tarvin, good to see you, man. How's the day going, Lambo stacker? I'll ship out your package Friday. Cool. It's not cleaned. If there was a price, it uh, would have been different. I uh, bought it from a retired PCGS grader. That's cool, too. Uh, hey Tyler, mailed, uh, mailed out your kook this morning, sending tracking soon, a little bit of chat going on, thumbs up there for you Husky, thank you guys, again, if you haven't already, uh, hit up the uh, the like button, just tap that for me, Silver Game of Thrones, good morning man, or morning for you, afternoon for me, you must be maybe on the west coast or central, not too sure, uh, Kayla, good to see you, and, okay, Silver Trooper, Tony, oh, you're trying to get me to pronounce that, aren't you, Silver Trooper? Tony Chacheres. Chacheres. Or is it Chacheres? I don't know. Help me out, man. <laughs> I have 17 Morgans in my collection. That's cool. I think I only have about two or three archaeology, Mike. Mikey. Uh, take care. Be safe, everyone. Bye, Kayla. Good to see you. Hey, Mad Stacker. How's it going? Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to catch up with the chat as much as possible. Uh, I don't know that I've ever had 21 people in the chat. You guys are awesome. Nosematics, Maddox, good to see you, man. Uh, it's okay. Go run home. Go run. Help your daughter out. That's awesome. Yes, offer up is good. Uh, watch International Stackers video about offer up and let go before using the apps. That's true too. Uh, again, like he said, I always do that same thing uh, where I go to a police station. I meet up at a police station. They have those public lots. That's a good place to go. Um, Silverado, good to see you, man. Uh, I've got your Year of the Dragon, the 2012, or have you got the 2012? I do right here. Uh, this one's with the Lion Privy. I don't know if you guys have seen that one yet. Um, OG equals your son. Oh, heh, sorry. I'm so late, guys. Yeah, he is the OG. He is the original Silver Husky. My gosh, how far is this? All right, I'm, I must be way off. Uh, did you just say a hint? Don't say hint. Okay, so the hint... Uh, the hint was not a hint to the clues for the uh, the code breaker, so don't worry, Mad Stacker. I didn't give any of those hints out. The hint was a hint, a hint or a cue of an upcoming video that I'm gonna do. I uh, had something special made, and uh, you guys are gonna get well. You're not gonna get a first look today, but you guys are gonna get a, a an idea of what that is here in the next uh, few days. So um, I can add Eagles five over spot to my local pawn shop. Um, so not buying eagle tubes off online dealers like 10 plus over spot. That's crazy. Yeah, that's 10 over spots kind of high right now. Um, guys, check out Facebook groups. Those Facebook groups have some really good uh, good deals going on right now. You can get uh, silver right about at spot. Uh, if you're into uh, sterling, you can get some sterling items for below spot. I saw somebody selling for 80% of like 80% of spot or 80% melt. That's pretty good. Can you do a video on selling on Facebook? Would like to learn more about that. You know, I'll, I'll do that. That's a good idea, Silver Eagles. Um, I'll have to uh, maybe pull up some of my messages uh, because I'm I'm still new at that. I've only done maybe about three thousand dollars worth of transaction on there, and that's relatively not much. A lot of people on there have built up built up quite a bit of rapport uh, through those different groups, so it's definitely something to. Uh, uh, I guess to, to get good at uh, or to gain notoriety in and that's the cool thing about these platforms is they give you that notoriety uh, did you know that Vince 
Uh, canals are crystal clear waters because of what's going on. Oh, the Ven Venice canals. Yeah, that's what I heard, um, that you can actually see dolphins swimming through the Venice canals. I blame International Stacker for getting me into stacking Morgans. <laughs> Yeah, I blame International Stacker for getting me into stacking. Um, I think I originally saw Mike Maloney do a uh, do a couple of videos. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going to give you guys a, some background on that. So for those of you who don't know, I used to have a channel about a year ago. Did way too many face reveals, face revealed all my kids and everything. And I was like, you know what, that's pretty dumb of me. So I scrapped my entire channel, got rid of all the videos, lost like eight or 900 subscribers. And, uh, and then started from scratch again about two, three months ago. So um, some of you remember me or recognize me. I think that that's, you know, I'm, I'm grateful to have you guys back. And I'm sorry I had to disappear for a while, but hey, I'm back. What got me into it was I watched uh, some YouTube video on some guy talking about a black swan event that was going to come and it's going to reset all currencies. And, you know, he was a little bit more on the doomsday prepper kind of uh angle but I will say that I learned a lot from the video and it led me towards people like uh, I'd say the original ones that I was watching they were uh, international stacker and Yankee stacking and um, probably silver dragons you know back when they were doing a lot of instructional videos uh, a lot less of the uh, you know coast to coast show and that, that stuff's awesome too but the more instructional videos are what got me into it uh, an international stacker, I think he made it fun. So I definitely enjoyed watching those. And over time, kind of built up my own uh, mindset on stacking and why I was stacking. I did like a lot of these numismatic pieces, but I'll say that, you know, I did have, I do still have a bulk of my stack uh, in something that is easily, uh, easy to liquidate, we'll say. Uh, Tony Shashiris. Shashiris. Tony Shasheries. Is that right? Did I say it right? Shasheries, give me a thumbs up. Silver Trooper, if I got it right. Uh, Mad Stagger was a joke. Uh, as in, I have PTSD from the last, from, from, uh, from our last hint. Okay, so uh, sorry about PTSD if I gave it to anybody or if anybody got any, um, you know, epileptic seizures from trying to crack those codes. I know they flash pretty quick, uh, but to those of you who got it, awesome job. Um, on Facebook, check out the groups. Uh, silver miners and gold bugs, yeah, silver bugs too. 90% uh, stackers, those are good. Those are good, uh, good groups. Um, wow, look at Mex minimum 299 orders. Wow, uh, or sorry, yes. So the reason they're doing that is because they have a high volume of orders. So they are all, um, you know, trying to mitigate those heavy orders to just people who are buying in bulk. So they make more money. They stand to gain more profit when they buy in bulk. They actually, uh, I'm not going to say lose money, but they don't make nearly as much because of shipping and things like that for people who buy one or two coins. So, of course, increasing their profit margin is very helpful to them in times of heavy volume because they don't want to end up like, um, oh, what's it called? Like a Scottsdale Mint that had a nine-week wait to get, uh, you know, a silver bar. I'll show you guys that real quick. I like to bust out the bar. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it, it takes a <laughs> Leave it to me um, to mess this up. You mind moving your head, bud? Yes. Move back a little. Okay, here we go. Sorry about that. There we go. You mind turning the volume down, my friend? Okay, yeah. so leave it to me to make a mess. Uh, that's typical of me, but here we go. Yes, I have a green screen wall, by the way, for those of you who saw that. But, uh, but here's the, uh, the behemoth. Oh, you thought that 10 ounce was big. This is, uh, this is where it's at right here. So, Anyways. Um, okay, so, hey, Husky, uh, what do you use to go live? I think you need 1,000 subs to do it mobile. Yeah, you do need 1,000 subs to do it mobile. So right now I'm actually using uh, Streamlabs OBS. Uh, I find that to be a very useful and versatile tool. Um, you know, Stacking Stormtrooper put me onto that. And he's got a huge channel, so I trust him. I trust the guy. Uh, he's, I gotta tell you, this community is amongst the best. I've had more assistance in figuring out how to do all this stuff that is complete gibberish to me. Uh, Stacking Stormtrooper and uh, I would say International Stacker have helped me the most. And they're just such incredible YouTubers uh, to take time out of their day and away from their, you know, their families, their personal lives uh, to do stuff like that is pretty awesome. 
first time on your channel just pop up on youtube love my silver four skins good to see you man um that's that's uh that's an awesome name by the way I uh, hope you uh, hope you stick around. Hope you subscribe and check out some of my older content. I try to do a lot of instructional videos, and some of my videos have a bit of comedy to them too. So uh, please bear with me. If you guys see my fingers uh, in the corner, I'm trying to hold this uh, tripod up so that the whole thing doesn't fall over. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Let's see. Uh, nine weeks wait. Yeah, nine weeks was that was a long time to wait. But I'll tell you what. I bought those bars when silver was like at 14.85 uh an ounce so i think my total total cost was 17.10 per bar and right now if you go on those 100 ounce king stackers are selling for uh 2800 if you buy just one obviously if you buy in bulk uh you can get them a lot cheaper but who's gonna buy 50 100 ounce bars um in one shot not, not too many people so uh so i'd say that you know if i did turn around and sell them now uh, i i did pretty good but I, i'm gonna hold off as of right now i'm not gonna sell just yet i should have sold last week but i'm not gonna get caught up in that coulda woulda shoulda well, i'm trying to straighten something out really real quick there we go all right guys so um don't do another face reveal you'll disappear for another year yeah I, i'm trying not to hopefully this equipment uh holds steady i, I had to bring some mobile equipment with me so i've got the uh the laptop, the mini tripod, the little, um, what's it called? This little screen cam or whatever, um, computer camera, and uh, hopefully everything will work out well and I won't do any more face reveals. Community is a second family for me. Jonathan Reese, I agree with you, man, because the people on this channel or on the, in this community are incredible. All of them have been. And, uh, you know, I think there's, there's only one troll in the community. I don't know who it is, but he goes on every, literally, every one of my videos and dislikes it which i think is funny because uh international stacker kind of warned me that that would happen he said that he doesn't know who it is either uh it's probably the same t same guy that was uh trolling stacking stormtrooper but literally go go look at any one of my old videos they all have one thumbs down for no reason um you know i i, I don't get political i'm not like uh charged in any way that you know offends people i try my best to be non-offensive but uh hey you can't please everybody and that's fine i'm not subs uh you're not supposed to apparently by youtube's uh i guess method but when you have streamlabs obs and you connect it i think another one there's some other stream yards or something like that but i use streamlabs and when you connect it through your youtube channel you can go live right you have to do it through that application though you're not able and i can't do it from my phone i can only do it from my from my uh, laptop or desktop so you have to actually download it and connect it um, yeah, Bazinga, you could shout me out right now uh, and get in my god that I'm doing. So yeah, there's a bunch of people that are doing giveaways right now. I know Bazinga's one of them. Uh, I believe Coin Collecting with Tyler is another one. There's several people that are doing giveaways right now. So something that I, uh, I like to do from time to time is just go into your search bar or into your YouTube search and just type in GAW and then filter it down to uh, most recent and filter it down to videos right and you're gonna find a lot of I think ga must be an Indian word also because you'll find a lot of Indian videos but in between those you'll find a lot of giveaways for you know precious metals for knives and for pipes apparently those are the three communities that give away stuff is precious metals knives and pipes apparently they go together I'm not sure uh, I think youtubers should stop selling silver on auction streams so that people don't get ripped off when selling uh, when silver drops again, um, you know. So, so I have uh, a couple thoughts on on auctions. Auctions provide a service in in themselves. Uh, I don't do any auctions, and I don't know that I will. I may, I may not. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think I will. But the auction itself serves a purpose, and that is entertainment, right? So the entertainment that is captured in auctions is the spur of the moment excitement of buying a coin and of course everybody who actually participates in the auctions knows that you can you know find those coins probably much cheaper somewhere else but that's not the point of it right the point of it is uh not not just to get the coin or the thrill the excitement the entertainment but it's also uh 
uh, you know, they, sometimes they do giveaways, like the people who win the most of the auctions of the night end up being, you know, a prize winner or something like that. So it's just a couple of interesting uh, things or a different point of view to look at it. Uh, I also like to think of it as capitalism in its truest form because you are providing the service of entertainment. It's just like if I go to a movie theater, yeah, I could watch it bootleg for much cheaper, or yeah, I could wait for it to come out on Redbox for a buck ninety-nine, but I'm paying for that extra entertainment because I want to be entertained. So, are you not entertained? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I have a lot more to scroll through. I agree. Community is great. I've had a lot of support from everyone. Absolutely love stacking community. Good morning, Silver Husky. Hey, AZ Coins, how you doing? Um, cool. AZ Coins, how is it? Or how's it? How's it? Where's that from? That that phrase, how's it? I think that's a. Uh, it's not Pennsylvania, is it? When I mean, you say how, maybe it's Jersey. I don't know. Uh, there's some people I don't support because they abuse the memberships and only allowing mods and members to bid on auctions, and people uh, don't want them to pay. Pe people don't want to pay every month for auction. You're right. Um, you know that's why I'm not. I'm actually, admittedly, I, I'm not a member of anyone's channel yet. I don't know that I, I will, but I'm not for or against it. Again, if people want to enter or if they want to be a member of a channel, then they have every right to do that. And whatever extra icons or whatever they can get out of that, cool. Uh, let them do it, you know. Um, Silverado, I have one too till the end of the month. Okay, guys, Silverado has a, uh, a giveaway going on as well, so make sure you check him out. Awesome dude, uh, awesome channel. Uh, good morning, Mikey, how are you doing? Uh, is it Mel's Halls I ha Height M? Bricktown Silver. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's code or if I'm supposed to read it backwards. I'm not sure. Southwest Missouri Foreskins says, uh, silver is hard to find in the local coin shops. Big premiums, but paying spot. That's tough. That is tough. Uh, yeah, Foreskins, four I got to tell you, um, I love the fact that currently I live in a place where there are probably seven or eight LCSs within an hour's drive. Uh, and some of them are better than others and that's the cool thing is you get to you know decide where you want to go I remember when I lived in Virginia uh, there was one LCS and the guy was just completely rude and like didn't want to have anything to do with the customers in the place uh, he didn't acknowledge you when you walked in and he f almost looked bothered if he was to help you uh, find something, which I think that kind of stinks because that takes away from the excitement of you know finding a coin and asking questions. Um, then I went to one in Texas where the guy spent like 30 minutes with a nine-year-old boy explaining to him about you know penny hunting. And obviously you, you can make some money uh, penny hunting, but the kid was looking for a 1909 VDB, you know, whatever. And it, it was cool because he was explaining it to him. And I was like, that's amazing because this little kid is the future of coin collecting and stacking and all that so of course give him the time of day because one day he's going to carry on that that legacy so uh that's my thoughts on that but yeah it's always important to have uh, a good lcs you can trust or you can go to and you know it's helpful if you have several of them in the area because then you can comparative shop uh let's see 007 channel uh that you've become a channel member to bid is only to weed out trolls and that's true too a lot of people will bid and then flake out on the uh, on the payment, and then you just missed out on a sale because somebody else wanted to buy that. Uh, yes, entertainment and love chatting with the community. Yeah, that's why I go. I, I've never once bid on anything uh, that Stacking Stormtroopers put up. I, actually, I put one bid one time, <laughs> and that was it. One bid one time, and I didn't win the item. Uh, but I'm there to chat. I'm there to hang out and say hi to everybody. You know, he makes it fun, so I'm I'm there all the time. Uh, also supports the channel. Hey, on order boomer sooner. Uh, yeah, kicking it currently in KCMO. Cool man. Uh, good morning, Jonathan. How you doing? Got to go take care of. Uh, stay safe, everyone. Hey, Fox Run Forge. Good to see you, man. Uh, take care. Good morning, Fox Run. How you doing? Love hanging in auctions. I mean, I never have uh, money to buy, but it's always a great time hanging out. Hey, I'm with you, Jonathan Reese. So you and me are both in there just to hang out. Uh, some people don't have the money to pay for a membership, and it's not fair for non-members. Yeah, again, so that that's that's just it. If you don't have the money to pay for the membership, don't pay for it. Um, you know, International Stacker is a great buddy of mine, a really really awesome dude, right? Great friend of mine. Uh, but I'm not a member on his channel because I 
prefer to direct my money into other areas. But there are a lot of people who do want to, and they do support him in that way, and they have the financial means to do that. And I think that that's totally awesome. And, uh, you know, again, it's capitalism. Some can, some won't. So what? Somewhere, some will. <laughs> we'll call it that. Uh, I think it's New Jersey, but I, can, but I never say that, or because I never say that. Okay. Um, good morning, Bazinga. How are things going? At least Guido allows people to be godfather grandfathered in. That's cool. You know, you guys know Guido actually lives down the street from me. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I ran into him at the LCS uh, probably about two weeks ago. He's the nicest guy. He's just so cool. But yeah, he lives literally down the street from me. I had no idea. Um, okay. And when I say down the street, I mean like I, I could probably bike ride to his house. Uh, all right. Got to roll. Hey, Silver Trooper, thank you for stopping by. Guys, please don't forget to hit the, hit the like button. I definitely love seeing you guys in the room. Hey, David Carlisle, good to see you. Um, I don't know if I said hi to you earlier. Silver Queen of Hearts, good to see you too. Uh, I get booted on chat. I need new equipment. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Uh, maybe it's the, I don't know, maybe it's your, your modem or your internet connection. I know mine took a dump earlier. I had to actually get out of, uh, I had to shut my computer down and start it back up. Uh, can y'all see my messages? Platinum Beast, I can see you, man. I don't know if this is your first message, but good to see you. Um, they're coming in now. Hey, Husky, uh, buying in the current market. Um, you know, I had my sister, in. she went to a coin shop in Maryland. Um, what was it? Like Bethesda Coin and Stamp or something like that. Somewhere there in, uh, in Montgomery County, if anybody's in the D.C. area. But uh, or Bethesda Stamp and Coin. So she was there, and I told her, you know, hey, you know, tell the guy, uh, Silver Huskies, your Silver Husky's sister, and maybe he'll give you a good deal. Uh, I think he sold her at like 17 times uh, face, and she bought a dollar's worth of Mercury's. And I told her, uh, ask him to throw in a 1916D. Um, I don't think he did, but he, he was a funny dude because he was kind of joking with her after that. Um, but yeah, I mean, am I buying right now? Uh, only if I see a really good deal and I see a potential to flip. Um, I I was firmly standing by not buying junk over 20 bucks an ounce, but at this point, I think that these prices are kind of here to stay. They're, they're a lot more, uh, let's say, solid than they were a few weeks ago, right? A few weeks ago, it was a lot more, I guess, volatility in the market. Let's look at, uh, let's see what we got here. Okay, so let me go to SD Boolean or JM Boolean. Uh, let me refresh this and see if they got any new price in on these on the silver. So silver right now, yeah, twenty four forty one. It's still about the same. Let's see what Yahoo says. I know you guys probably don't like Yahoo, but I, I find it to be entertaining because the prices look a little inflated, so it excites me. Okay, so it's it's up a little bit from open, right? Open being, open being right here. So we're up just a just a tad. And again, this is the futures, so I, I wouldn't stand by that. But 0.16 percent. That's not much. It's up four cents, but it's something, right? And uh, and here also for the current spot price, we're showing down a little bit, uh, down 12 cents. So again, I don't know how much I trust that. But let's look at this gold to silver ratio. What's that been doing? Uh, and in the past. 24 hours. We're at 80.65. So let's see for the week. This bar right here, if you guys aren't familiar with the way JM Boolean works, this bar right here indicates to you the average. So if you click on one week, it'll give you the one week average. If you click on one month, it'll give you the month average or three month, three month average. So right now it's showing that the, uh, the one week average is about 81 and some change, maybe 81 and a half. Uh, but right now we're sitting at 80.65, so we're below the weekly average for the gold to silver ratio. So if you go to six months, you'll see that we're well below the average. The, the average is showing just about 100 to 1, and right now we're sitting at 80 to 1. So I would say with regards to the past six months, we're doing pretty good. Uh, year to date, it's about the same. Um, one year, the one year average was 93 to 1 and we're sitting at 80 to 1. So so we're still below the one year average. However, if you go to all time, I don't know that it'll give me, oh, it does give me an all time. So the all time average is 65 and that's since maybe 2000 and uh, 2000, I think is when they started recording. That looks like the beginning. Um, and shoot, I can't really scroll over, can I? All right, 
so you're going to have to bear with me on that. But in any case, um, well, let's turn that off. Back to the silver. So there's the Mandala Rhino. Rhino. I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram, I posted that this morning. Um, really reflective, so I can't stand on the other side of that. But uh, anyways. Um, let's see, Beast, I can see your comments. Yep, uh, I did win a, a bar two days ago on Spectacular's auction, but due to high postage cost, I have donated it to a young guy who is into stacking. How generous, Silverado, that's awesome. Unfortunately, he lost his de <laughs> he lost his details, so the bar stayed with Spig. Hey, that's cool, man, you can send it to me. No, I'm just kidding, that is very generous. I always love seeing how you know people are willing to give um, you know to other young stackers in the community. I'm actually thinking about doing something like that, and I don't know if there's any legality uh, with regards to YouTube on that. Like, if I wanted to do some kind of a uh, donation pool and then give out to young stackers in the community, and even like the children of stackers, obviously it would be an honor system kind of thing, but you got to figure anybody who's got a kid that's like 12 and under that wants to stack, uh, it'd be really cool to, uh, you know, be able to provide them with their first Morgan or their first, I don't know, Silver Maple Leaf or something like that. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, don't stalk him during his stream. Uh, who are you talking, who am I stalking? <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about. Uh, hey everyone. Uh, hi Modog Silver, good to see you. Um, yeah, you know, so Bazinga, I actually did a shout out for Silverado, if you want to find the link to his channel, go look at one of my previous videos. Uh, what was it called? I think it was called I Messed Up or I Messed Up Big Time or something like that. Uh, there's a story behind it. I'll let you watch it. But his his link is in that description. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys are – don't forget to hit the like button, everybody. Um, let's see. Best gold, best gold to stack, in my opinion. Wh which one? Platinum Beast. Did I miss that? I think I missed something. What did you say? I don't I don't see what you said. Silver Game of Thrones, best gold to stack in my opinion. Mm, I don't know. Fed response, be out in 15 minutes, I believe. Okay, so what does that mean for us? I guess that'll dictate what happens with the medals for the rest of the week, depending on what Mr. Powell says. Uh, anyone knows of a decent coin shop near Phoenix? Yeah, you guys, if you're in the chat, feel free to talk amongst yourself. If you have a question like that, I don't live in Phoenix, um, so I know that you know you have Scottsdale, not too far. I mean, it's not like two, three hours. Uh, Scottsdale Mint's there. I know they used to do tours, probably not at this point, but that might be a cool place to check out. Uh, you could also knock on Robert Kiyosaki's front door. Uh, I think he lives in Scottsdale too. Um, yeah, today is numismatic time. How you replay to somebody. How you replay to somebody. I don't know, I'm not sure what you meant by that. Silver Game of Thrones. DA checking in. Hey, Dissident Aggressor. Guys, Dissident Aggressor is awesome too. If you haven't checked him out, check his channel out. I won one of his giveaways and he's just a super awesome guy. So, uh, very funny with the comments too. And I love his comments. So, he, he watches a bunch of my videos and leaves me, you know, funny messages. So, that's good stuff. Um, I didn't get the link. Sometimes YouTube won't let uh, you post links unless you're a mod. Maybe you could comment on the recent video and I could go from there. Yeah, I could do that for you. Um, looking for silver at 30 an ounce to release 90% dime, uh, dimes, quarters, and halves. Yeah, you know, I think <laughs> a lot of us are. Uh, that'd be a great time to start offloading, I think, is at 30 bucks an ounce. But then again, I'm, I'm more looking at whether it makes sense to convert to fiat or now that I'm noticing that the fiat is losing its, uh, I guess its position as a reserve currency or it's, it's looking like it's losing its position as a reserve currency. So I'm almost more inclined to do a straight transfer, a straight arbitrage uh, from the asset of silver directly to gold without the intermediary of fiat dollars, right? I don't know what you guys think. Feel free to leave that in the chat. Uh, Bazinga, you have to find me. Uh, much at 82 very old channel very cool um, have you seen the Paisley and Daddy show yes I've watched that before I think that's super cool because he incorporates his kids so I love you know shows like that uh, Robin Hood coins he always you know puts his kids in the video and stuff like that I think that that's awesome so I'm always excited when I see people incorporating their children guys if you guys have kids also uh, make sure you get your kids into the, the not I, I can't even call it the hobby 
but into the arena of stacking. I think it's such a useful, um, a useful way to teach them about real money. It's good stuff. Uh, Mexican gold. Okay, so that's what we we're talking about. So, Libertads, Mexican Libertads are cool when they actually do come out as uh, you know pure silver, uh, as they say they are. But I, I actually, I don't know if you guys have ever seen. Maybe you have. The Mexican mint came out with a one ounce bar, right? And the one ounce bar has the Lady Libertad on one side, and then on the other side it has their stamp saying, you know, una onza oro puro something like that but but it's uh it's really really beautiful bar but it's so hard to find i don't know if you guys have seen it but if you haven't google it uh mexican bullion bar gold bar right uh silver husky i said that because uh you're live next to another youtuber and i asked uh do you stalk him on streams guido stacking i think his name oh yeah no i don't stalk him i actually uh i was messaging him asking him if I could sponsor one of his giveaways and when he sent me his uh, his address I realized that it wasn't it was a PO box that was you know not far from where I live come to find out that he actually lives in like I can't say in my neighborhood because it's not my neighborhood but it's like two three neighborhoods down so it's pretty cool um, I take my son who's 15 to the coin shops he loves it hey that's cool too I think that's a good way to pay them uh, pay them their uh, allowance too sometimes we do scavenger hunts and we hide like little silver dimes around the house or Morgans or whatever and if the kids find it they get to keep it that's that's also uh, Caden Patterson hunts coins I am a kid that's awesome man uh, glad to see you in the chat and glad that you're stacking silver um, that, or coin collecting that's always fun um, did you watch Robin Hood coins last mail call I sent them foreign coins for them to learn what where they came from that's awesome um, I didn't see it, but I can definitely go back and check. I do watch some of his mail calls. Actually, no, I think I did see his mail call. Uh, he opened a few packages, right? Um, he didn't open the one I sent him. <laughs> I did send him something, but uh, he didn't open that one. Maybe he just didn't get to it yet. Um, okay, gold pesos are cool. Mad Stacker, take my son who's 12 to the LCS. He doesn't love it. Yeah, that's no fun. I have, I have a my, my daughter, she, she'll take the coins, but she's not really into it yet. She's more into stacking fiat. She's got plenty enough to buy a nice stack but you know hey it is what it is it's not her cup of tea and that's all right um if you had 800 ounces of generic bars and rounds at an average cost of 22 per ounce what would you consider doing with them if anything uh okay so that's that's a personal opinion personal preference i would hang on to it i mean honestly my generic i keep it in a separate bin for when i one day start pouring i'm probably going to melt it down That'll be the, my practice silver uh, because I, I'm not really huge into generics uh, that they, they are basically worth their own weight in silver. If if it did, if spot did skyrocket, though, I would definitely do something with it. I would either, you know, trade it for fiat or I would go ahead and trade it for gold. Um, I wouldn't hang on to it. You know, numismatic stuff is sometimes cool. Like out of these, I think the only one that I would really keep keep without you know any question is this one this one's never going anywhere but the other ones i'd be inclined to get rid of them you know if the price was right uh, i'm not uh, how do i want to put it i'm not so sold on you know silver on any specific pieces that you know they don't have a price to them they're priceless to me uh, i i believe that i would i would sell just about just about any of them so this one i'd hang on to uh, this one I may hang on to. This one I may hang on to. The rest of them will probably go. I'm sure you guys have seen the multifaceted wolf and bear and lynx coins. Those belong to my kids, but I hope I hope they don't ever let those go. Those are you know from their mom and dad, so uh, hopefully they stay in the family forever. But they are pretty awesome coins nonetheless. Um, Chris Hodson, uh, Silver Husky can't stay. Wanted to drop in and say hello. Thank you for stopping by, Chris. I'll be emailing you again soon. My last two failed for some reason, so I have to type it all up again. Okay, so Chris Hodson, uh, if they failed, just make sure you're sending them to silverhusky12 at gmail.com. That's my, my email. So, um, Silver Husky, did you stack any platinum? You know what? Uh, I actually, I don't have any platinum, but my youngest does. He has a tenth of an ounce. Uh, which at the time we bought for like $97, I think. It was a spot deal. It was a Platinum Britannia. And now I think it's worth like $150 or something like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, my parents did that. I would be, if my parents did that, I'd be using a sledgehammer to find them. 
Oh, yeah, that's funny. Um, Reese, at what price would you consider? So, yeah, Jonathan Reese would trade him for gold. You know, and I, I don't blame him for doing that. I think everybody has their own method, their own technique. You just have to be confident that whatever you're doing is the right move for you, right? Be confident in your purchases. Have fun while you're doing it. I think that's the, the hard part is getting frustrated as a stacker. You know, if you're watching uh, spot be stagnant or if spot drops and then you get frustrated, hey, you're going to be a lot less frustrated if you're actually enjoying the hobby, meaning you're enjoying the coins that you're buying. So um, he's going to learn to love it eventually. I would sell 800 ounces and buy ancient gold coins. <laughs> That'd be cool too. Uh, Archaeology Mikey, I don't know if you uh, have ever been to the uh, Treasure Coast of Florida. They have, That's where the, uh, what is it, the 1715 fleet or 1517, I think, 1517 fleet of uh, Spanish, the Spanish galleon that sank off the coast from a hurricane. And then all that gold was washing up on shore. People are still finding uh, those, those uh, gold what are they called? Not the reals, but whatever they are, the, the escudos. Uh, they're still finding them out there, silver and gold, and pieces of the ship. It's pretty cool. Uh, I took my 35-year-old son to the coin show, and he went out front and played on his phone. <laughs> he, was, he was looking for Pokemon or something. I don't know. Um, straight A's in college, no common sense. You know, and that's, that's what school teaches lately. Uh, but that's why it's our job as parents to teach different, right? And that's what YouTube is for. I wouldn't know this stuff if it wasn't for YouTube, so thank you, YouTube. Uh, strong man, silver and gold, hey, silver husky, I'm just getting there, I'm just getting here, how's it going? Good to see you, man. Guys, again, please, uh, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Um, again, if you are new to the channel, I do have a giveaway going on, it closes in two days, so you still have time to get in on it. Make sure you find the video labeled, oh my god, G-A-W-D. Right? That's the one you want to get in on. If you are not in on that giveaway, you will not um, be able to get the prizes. So they closes on the 31st, and I will do a live stream on the 1st. This is kind of a test live stream to make sure that everything operates well from the mountains of Tennessee. That's where I'm at right now, uh, way away from any COVID cases. <laughs> I'll be uh, then heading to, where am I going? I'm going to North Carolina for a little bit, and then I will be back in Florida in uh, about mid mid August so hopefully I was telling my wife this I'm like I hope that the, uh, the silver spot price doesn't shoot up into the 40s or 50s because otherwise I'm gonna have to like haul butt 90 miles an hour back to Florida get my stack and take it to the LCS to trade it in for gold because once those prices are just right I don't care what I'm doing I'm, I'm on my way to the LCS no matter no matter what it takes to get there uh, so yeah anyways um, Sounds like someone's playing PS4. No, not PS4. It's actually Xbox 360. Somebody, this is uh, Little Silver Huskies in the background. And it's cool that you can hear the clicking. Uh, Little Silver Huskies in the background. He's playing Roblox. I don't know what he's doing. He's slaying some dragon or something. I don't know. Um, I hope to move to Florida in August. Viking Simulator is what he said. Okay, hope to move to Florida in August. Archaeology, Mikey, what part of Florida? Um, I can maybe give you some pointers if you're in South Florida on where to go to. I've been to Florida a few times and I heard of the Spanish ships. Those are in the Treasure Coast, so it's right around Vero Beach. That's where you'd want to go if you wanted to metal detect those. But I will say that there are people metal, de metal detecting those beaches seven days a week, especially after hurricanes when the, the sands shift. That's when people are out there in full force. I enjoy collecting silver casino tokens of closed down casinos. Forskins, I wish I knew that. Um, I wish I knew that there were people that actually collect those uh, back in the day. I had about 10 or 15 of them, and I sold them to a coin dealer for spot like a dummy. Um, so, yeah, that's. I think that's... Sorry, I think that's a noob mistake um, where people just don't know really what they're doing. They don't really understand uh, the move that they're making. Uh, you know, you come across a coin collection, and you think... You can get top dollar for it, but whoever's buying it off of you, they, they might give you a decent deal, but they're always going to stand to make a profit as well. And that's exactly what happened. This guy, uh, he's a good guy, uh, but, you know, of course, he wanted to make a profit of his own. So he, um, he went ahead and bought the coins off of me at, like, I don't know, a percentage of their value so he could turn around and flip them. So I made some money. I ended up buying some coins with it. No big deal. Um, my dad taught me about gold when I was eight. 
He was running a currency exchange. He was buying all sorts of metals from, let's call them people who need a drink badly. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I'm glad your dad was able to facilitate that for them and be able to teach you something along the way, Silverado. That's kind of awesome. Uh, Green Husky with the thumbs up. Guys, Green Husky is a family member of mine uh, dropping in to say hello. She's actually my daughter. Uh, she's awesome. And uh, she definitely supports the channel and gives thumbs up all the time. And uh, I'm just hoping that she uh, wins a ga at some point because she's fighting to win a ga. She's been entering everything. Uh, and I know she will. Um, I literally just unboxed another American Silver Eagle. That's awesome. Sounds windy. Yeah, it's because my ceiling fan's on. Uh, it's Not only a ceiling fan is on, but there's also a babbling brook right outside my window. So I'm in the mountains and there is a, like a little creek behind us. Um, that's all through the night. That's what you hear is it just sounds like running water. So half the times I, you know, wet myself uh, in the bed, uh, pee myself because of, you know, a dream that I'm uh, peeing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're going to be moving near Fort Mercer on the beach. That's awesome. I don't know if I've been to Fort Mercer. Maybe I passed through it. Having my own pool and hot tub. That's important. And yes, we all want profit. Uh, very, very important part of stacking is turning a profit so you can stack more right uh, I've been winning a lot of gauze this summer you know I won a bunch too um, and I think my streak is finally winding down which is fine let somebody else win for a little while so that's cool uh, hey metals monk good to see you um, that's, that's always fun to see everybody in the chat and guys again if you haven't already please help hit the like button help me out help me beat the YouTube algorithm which always kicks my butt um, it's so good to see you guys in the chat, and I do appreciate having you guys around. Uh, guys, I'm at I'm four away from 600 subs, so that's kind of awesome, so I'm very excited. Wait a minute, how come none of you people are at work? That's a great question. I'm actually at work, working from home, so I'm taking my quote-unquote lunch break. Um, so my lunch break should be over probably about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so I did see my phone ring. I, I ignored it giving you guys the time but um, oh you're a farmer always working yeah that's funny I was just on a ranch not too long ago um, my wife's dad has a ranch out in Texas and he's got horses and all kinds of cool stuff and we were doing some farmer farmer stuff uh, this past few weeks here in Tennessee um, you know harvesting some crops growing some zucchinis and corn and pumpkin all kinds of fun stuff with the kids so that's always fun uh, working from home office a lot of us are and that's awesome uh, Mark UC0093, I expected my first baby, I expecting my first baby in January. Uh, first thing to be added to a stack is a 2021 Gold Eagle. That is awesome, Mark. Um, you will have a coronial baby. That's what, that's what we're officially calling any babies that were conceived during the corona pandemic. They are coronials. <laughs> so congratulations, Mark. Um, I've got four. Uh, they are awesome. Thankfully, I was blessed with uh, some of the most amazing kids ever. Uh, they are really, really fun and neat, and they are into fun stuff like their dad, and, uh, and they never give me a hard time. Isn't that right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're here giggling in the background. Now, hold on. Little one's asking me something. Go ahead. Um, he wants to go outside when we're done. I'll tell you what. I'll finish this live stream, then I gotta get back to work, answer a bunch of emails, pretend like I'm busy for a little bit, and then we can go outside and play. Sounds good? Guys, we, we were out in the creek uh, earlier this summer. Um, not this creek, but the one that it leads to, which is more like a river, a stream, and um, we found a hellbender. If you guys don't know what a hellbender is, uh, Google hellbender or hellbender amphibian. Uh, it is like a, I don't know, it, it's an amphibian, it's a salamander that's like the size of uh, a baby's leg. It's it's huge. It is a big monster. And my, my little one tried to catch it, but they're so slimy that it slipped right through his fingers. So, uh, Dissonant Aggressor says, uh, on the graveyard shift this week, I hated the graveyard shift. I used to do seven to sevens at the hospital when I was uh, just getting started out. That was never fun. I think I aged 15 years in just that time. So I'm going to show you a quick picture of a hellbender. This is from my daughter's phone. That is literally... That's not even a big one. That's like a medium-sized one. They get bigger than that. So, kind of freaky. There you go. Um, maybe you should enter her for Lucky Husky. Yeah, I should I should rename you Lucky Husky. I don't know. Uh, okay. 
So baby boomer round two. Yeah, that's basically what I was expecting. I was calling that. I was calling that nine months after the pandemic begins, you will see either either one of two things. The hospital birth rates go up or the divorce rates go up, unfortunately. And I hate that second one because that, that always makes me sad. But, uh, you know, it, it's either people get sick of each other because these are, you know, husbands and wives that have never had to deal with each other before. They've never had to see each other 24-7 uh, that often um, for such a prolonged period of time. So there's that or the other side of it uh, where they end up, you know, cranking out babies, uh, which is either one is possible. So. I still owe International Stacker a lot of God tax. You know who owes him a lot of God tax would be, uh, who is it, uh, the, the Kilo, um, Kilo, the guy who won his Kilo. Gosh, someone help me out with his name. I know it's Kilo's in his name, but he's a cool dude. Um, liked, uh, liked the hit button or something. Thank you, David. I appreciate it. Lick the like button to sanitize it. Yeah, or punch it, slap it. You can, you know, lick it you want that's whatever you want to do to the like button as long as it is pressed and uh, highlighted that'd be great uh, I have catched minnows as small fish with my hands in the middle of the night yeah my son caught a minnow yesterday that was fun Johnny Kilo thank you Lambo stacker I knew somebody would have it Johnny Kilo got the Kilo so Johnny Kilo is gonna be mad at me for forgetting his name guys my my brain is just as slippery as my hands as you guys know I drop coins all the time I think you can see this one right here has a crack in the in the case. I do that all the time. I got butter fingers, but my brain is just as slippery, guys. So please don't hate me for that. If I ever forget names and stuff like that, it's just because I'm not even old. I think it was maybe my time in the Marines. I just lost too many brain cells out in Iraq or something. But uh, but anyways, I do have to get going, guys. I do appreciate every one of you for stopping by. Thank you so much for being in the chat. Thank you guys for being subscribers. Thank you for hitting the like button. And uh, definitely, definitely keep your eyes open with what's going on in the metals market because a lot of stuff is happening right now. So you know, just keep your eyes peeled. A lot of good videos coming out from you know people like Sal, uh, Salve Metals, um, Yankee Stacking, International Stacker, all of them. Every one of those those bigger names, they're all putting out good videos. But you know what? There's some people that are smaller channels. Silver 5150, great, great channel. He's putting out some good stuff. I know I've seen. Um, Gosh, who's the other one? Silver Heist, but he's got a lot of subs too, but he's putting out some fire lately. So uh, definitely check them out. They are amazing content providers, and, uh, and I think you guys will learn a lot from that. And make some smart moves, but again, have fun while you're doing it. Don't regret, don't play the, uh, this is advice from International Stacker. Don't play the coulda, woulda, shoulda, right? Just be confident in the decisions that you make and, and be okay with it and keep moving, right? All right, guys, well, I appreciate you, and I'll see you all real soon.